Hi everyone, Mary Ann Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts, and today I thought I would give you a little tour of my craft studio because I just cleaned it up, so it's looking pretty good. And hopefully the sun won't be an issue, so this is just a quick overview. This is my second attempt at doing this. So when you come in my studio down here, I have a little basket for things to be picked up. And then I have a plastic tub that I put on my front porch for class card, card class pickup, porch pickup. Just gonna try not to make you too dizzy. And over here is where I store my catalogs. So I have the annual catalog, the mini, and our other little publications. I got that unit, this unit, at Winners. Just happened to have it when I was there. And here's one of my Stampin' Up! bags from one of our trips. Over here I have some lights that I use if I'm videotaping at night. In that basket is one of the card classes that's ready to go. I love ribbon. So here is some of my ribbon collection. Not necessarily Stampin' Up! Actually, not Stampin' Up! Just fun and pretty ribbons. This is a different stand that I have for videotaping. It's got lights built into it. I found it online, works pretty well. Here's a little shelf for showcasing little projects, some that people have given me and some that I have made myself. I like my room looking pretty. Welcome. And then I have some office-y stuff here, stickers and such. I take my catalog to Staples which is our office supply store, and get it spiral bound. And also I get plastic sheet put on the front and the back because that's an annual catalog, so it lasts for the year. Here's my setup for my stamp pads, my markers, and my reinkers. And up here, actually, these little stands here I use them, found them in a wedding section. They're for place number card holders. And what I do is I put them in the bucket and I stand a card up in the top so that people can see what the finished card needs to look like for in-person classes. So here I have in each one a stamp pad, the ink refill, and the stamp and write marker. This is from Stampin' Storage. I have an affiliate link on my Facebook page. This is the same company and the stamp pad. No, these are punches. The punch holder. And I will say get the biggest one because you will fill it up. These aren't all current. Some of these are retired, but I keep them anyways. And I do have two, I have three paper cutters. This one is a Carl cutter. It's medium heavy duty, so you can cut probably five or six pieces of cardstock at a time. This one is a heavy duty, I'm just gonna go around from this angle. It's called the KW Trio, and I can cut a full pack of cardstock, even more in this one at the same time. So for class prep, that saves me a lot of time. Here's my little mantra I lived by, especially during COVID. I spent a lot of time in here during COVID, so it had to be pretty. Here is a little container for storage. I found that at Michael's. It's good if you sell cards because in the front there are a bunch of cards and then you can display a few up in the top. And then this unit is just full of cards. Over here I have some envelopes and then clear envelopes. This is just a container from Michael's and it's got like random stuff in it. On the bottom I have all these IKEA units. So one, two, three, four. 
And then this was my space I created on in my old craft room. And now I have a huge table. But it's never usually looking that clear. So it's a bit of a treat for you guys. I'm just gonna go back. Oh, while I'm here, I'll show you this picture. This was when I was visiting my sister at her condo in Florida and they told me it was time to leave. So I was hiding because I didn't want to go. And random buckets. I'm sure I'm not the only one that has like random buckets full of stuff. Some family photos. This geranium was on my front porch. I get the afternoon sun in this window and it just loves this spot. So over here I have a little trolley. I'm just gonna go on the other side of my table and show you it's in my trolley. So this trolley is close to my desk and when I'm doing a Facebook Live, I pull it over to my desk. So in the top, I have tools, um, Stamp and Seal Plus, blending brushes, my amazing little mini trimmer, and bone folders, other things. Underneath here, I have current ribbons that I use all the time. Here are catalogs, all the current catalogs. And here are my DSP samplers. I realize those are celebration ones. So I just, if I'm using one for a Facebook Live, I'll just pull it out and bring it over to the camera, which is, well, I have this right beside my desk, so it makes it easy. Over here, like I said, I like pretty things. So I have my little dream, Main Street Bakery, Create, that is full of cards. This is full of random stuff. This container is full of fun fold samples. I went through all my cards and pulled out my fun fold samples because sometimes I use them again in a different way. These are all cards that I've made on my Facebook Lives and I already went through those and pulled out two buckets full. So there's lots of cards. This is how I store my 12 by 12 designer series paper. I actually have little metal racks in there to keep them standing up and they're in plastic um, envelope things. And on a different video, I'll go into detail on my different storage. These are retired punches, retired blends, and other watercolor markers for when I do watercolor work. These are my stamps. I do save some of my old stamps, not all of them. The ones on the bottom shelf here are current and about halfway here. And then some of these other ones are retired. But I find I tend to use some of them. So, and as soon as I give one away, I'm looking for it. I'm just gonna go this way. Pioneer paper cards. This is, I'm gonna switch hands how I store my embellishments. And you guys have seen me use this on Facebook Live. So it's right behind where I sit. Here are my current blends, all nicely labeled, thanks to Phyllis. And I have my new ones I haven't put in yet. I'm not sure where they'll go. Little drawers for adhesives. And down here is where I have my in colors. So the new in colors will go there, but I know I'm gonna run out of space. I'm just gonna step back a little bit. This is my amazing paper rack that my hubby made me one Christmas. So this has all of the four color families. And I'll just show you how I've set it up. So for instance, pear pizzazz, if you look over here, there is a pack of pear pizzazz. And on the top, there is a three ring plastic sheet protector with scraps. I keep all my scraps with every color and that helps me to use them. I do use them. I always look in there first to see if there's something that I can use. Just gonna step back. Oh, this fell down. Hang on. my light box and I changed the backdrop that's designer series paper I use little props when I'm um, 
photographing my cards. And then I have more props down here. I swap them out for the seasons. Then above this, I have this beautiful chicken wire frame and that displays cards that I've received from people. So I'll take some of those down now and swap them out when I get new ones. And this is my embossing die cutting station. So I found this amazing little shop thing at Winners, which is like TJ Maxx. And it's perfect, it's nice and high. And I have this rubber mat down here so it doesn't slip around. That's all just scraps of white for when I need just little pieces for sentiments. And then down below on the top is all dies. So these are the ones in the larger containers. Oh, that one should be over here. And this is all the smaller containers. It's not, they're not alpha or anything, which drives some people crazy. And then down here, embossing folders. Again, these are the large ones and those are the small ones. And I'm just gonna swing around and show you my table. So when I first came into this room, which was my husband's idea, I was going to get like a kitchen island. Instead, I grabbed this table from um, Struck2. Well, I didn't grab it, it's like pretty heavy, but it was cheap. It's not real wood, I'm finding out. So, wow, the wind, I can hear the wind howling. So I have a couple of Ott lights. This one I got at Costco. It's a smaller one. And then I have these two Ott lights where I create. This is also where I film my Facebook Lives and all my videos. So it's a happen in place. And the Ott light, lights are good. And I have my Arcron, Acron, Arcron, A-K-R-O-N, mount. And I have all my adhesives that I use in here. This is a Stampin' Up! storage unit. So I've got glue dots, I've got my Memento Black, I have my linen thread that I use all the time, Stampin' Seal, my ribbon scissors, my paper scissors, bone folder, picky tool, Wink of Stella, large dimensionals, mini dimensionals, tear and tape, black dimensionals and dimensional sheets. Little sticky notes. And my white glue is over there in that little container. This was from today's Facebook Live. It's so pretty. That's with the new um, Hues and Happiness, I think, paper. And the new glossy dots. Very fun. So this is where I would sit, I would craft, I would create, and at three o'clock, I put my phone up in the mount and my video. Just a few other random things, extra glue, tulips. I always have fresh flowers in here, makes me happy. And my computer, so I have my computer opened so I can see the comments from my Facebook Live because I don't want to stand up and try to read them off my phone. Okay, so let me just do a quick little swing around. I will do a series of videos so that I can show you some of the exact organization and storage ideas that I have. Not that they're anything wild and wonderful, but I love looking at other people's craft space and see how they organized it, how they've set it up, and just what works for them. What works for one person might not work for somebody else, but it gives you a starting point. So you can see how big this table is. I think it's like six feet by maybe three. These are the class cards for my April showers class. That was a fun class. It's small actually, but fun to design for. And I have a little garland up there. I changed that with the seasons. And that's about it. It's a beautiful space. I spend a lot of time in here, especially during COVID, as I mentioned. And it makes me happy and brings me joy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.